the A46 scheme is to change the existing priority junction um, to a two bridge gyratory um, and it's to improve um, road safety, reduce queuing traffic and to um, aid further development in the area. We actually decided to use this at tender stage uh, before we, we bid the contract. It was basically done for two reasons, to shorten the programme to make it so that we were here for less time um, and also to have less intervention with the public traffic. So we've been involved in the project for the last 18 months in the planning and engineering phases and I think we really started in earnest the first week back in January, three weeks ago, with the delivery of all the equipment which has came on about 30 trucks. So a lot of equipment comes to site, we have to assemble that equipment into this machine you see behind you um, and all the preparation before the actual day of the move is, is the big the big push that perhaps isn't seen in the background. The operation is using what's called SMPTs, which are self-propelled modular transporters. So the bridge was jacked up on those units and then it's wheeled across the deck and into place. And then they lower, they lower it down onto the final height and then they'll move those units away and reopen the road. One of the forefront things has been planning the closures, the, the actual road closure itself. It's um, not a straightforward thing. There's obviously a, a process to go through. As, as well as that, it's all the uh, contingency planning that goes in behind the scenes as well. For a possession project like this, you know, the road is closed on a certain weekend. Everything has to be in place and everything has to happen in the plan so that on the Friday night before the possession, we are ready to roll out across onto the carriageway. So it's all the planning of that, the bad weather you have to expect, the, the trucks not being delivered, you know, problems, you, small problems you get on site during, during the planning. So it's all that, that's been the most challenging part, I think. Really, it's the technical aspects as well that are uh, the biggest factor. So that's getting approval from all the authorities, technical approval authority, national highways, and uh, the temporary works designs, which is uh, manifold from a company called Richter, to allow us to be able to lift the bridge. The move has gone really well today. Um, we started about nine o'clock, tracking it over the carriageway, moved the, um, the trailers around to get it into the right alignment, brought it in and have been lowering it down. That took about sort of three hours to get it into position. But overall, really good and finished a bit earlier than we anticipated.